All right, class. So for the first assignment, we're going to be looking at what we call mean. So let's say this is mean. Another word that we use for mean, you guys have heard this word probably, is average. All right, you guys have heard of GPA, right? Grade point average. So average and mean are basically the same thing. So I'm going to be using mean, but um, sometimes I might call it average. Once again, it is the same thing. The information, the homework, we're going to be seeing it in four different ways. The, the numbers I'm going to give it to you, it could be a list. As you guys can see here, my examples one and two, there's going to be a list. I could give it to you as a table. In our notes, we can see those as questions three and four. I can give it to you as a table. I can do a dot plot, which we can see in our notes, questions five and six. I'm even going to use bars, like questions seven and eight. I know... When we zoom out, when we look at the paper here, we're going to be like, oh, it's going to be a little complicated, but it is not. It's going to be difficult how to read this at the very beginning, but I promise it is not at the end. Okay, so let's take a look at example number one. We're going to be able to find the mean. The average or mean is basically making everything the same, right? The Let me reduce the big numbers. Let me take some numbers out of the big to add it to the small, kind of like... Imagine we have a group of people, right? This is a cool example that I like for me. Imagine we have an amount of people, a group of people, and we want to have the same amount of money. What we're going to be doing is for those that have more money, we're going to take them, we're going to take some money away to give it to those that don't have any money. And the way we do that is we find out how much we're going to have each of us. We see how much money we all have, right? We we get all the money collected. And then we divide it evenly among how many people we got. So on our examples, here for question number one, it's talking about the height of some people. What we're going to be doing, let me add all the numbers that I have. In this case, I'm going to go 72 plus 63 plus 74 Plus, let me put dot, 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 just to indicate I'm going to add all of my numbers. I have a calculator with me. So I'm going to add all my numbers, and I happen to get 637. Like I said, I added everything. I added all of my numbers. And then I'm going to divide this. I'm going to use a fraction as a division. I'm going to divide it by how many numbers I have total. I, if I count them, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let me divide this by nine, right? 637 because I added everything. There's nine numbers, so I'm going to divide them by all. 637 divided by nine. When I type in on my calculators, I get 70 point. And then a bunch of sevens, seven, 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 and it keeps on going on. Now, I'm not going to ask you to obviously write seven, 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 seven. When we have so many numbers, I'm going to ask you guys to round it to two decimal places. So after the decimal, I only want two numbers. However, I want you to take a look at the third number, in this case, the seventh. If the third number... Keep in mind when I say third is after the decimal point. If the third number is five or more, which is this is the case, this is going to bring the previous number up. So my answer in this case will be 70.78. Again, the third number was big enough, so it brought the previous number up. My answer in this case will be 70.78. All right, hopefully that wasn't that bad. Let's take a look at question number two. Talk about the games per World Series. So our numbers are kind of low. We can we can work with that. Again, for the mean, for the average, what I'm going to do, let me add everything. So forward, I'm going to go forward, plus six, plus seven, plus six, dot, dot, dot. Again, let me add everything everything. I have a calculator with me. I'm going to say that this happens to be 60. When I add everything, 
It happens to be 60. Let me divide this by how many numbers I have. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got 10 of them. So again, let me add everything and divide it by how many I have. 60 divided by 10 happens to give me six. I have no decimals, but that's fine. So it's not bad when the number is given to us as a list. Let's take a look at tables. I'm really not interested in the countries, right? There's names for countries. Talk about Summer Olympics in 2012, how many medals each of them got. I'm not interested in the countries. I'm interested in how many medals. I'm interested in just the numbers. So the way I'm going to find the mean, let me add everything. So Ford plus 65 plus 20 plus four, dot, dot, dot. Let me say that I'm going to add everything. Again, I have a use of a calculator. So this gives me 208. And I'm going to divide this by how many numbers I have. I count how many numbers I have. In this case, I have 11. So remember, add everything divided by how many you have. According to my calculator, I get 18.9090909090. But remember I said I want two decimal numbers. I do take a look at the third one. It is big enough. And again, big enough is five or more. So this nine pushes the zero up. So my answer in this case is going to be 18.91. Right, pretty similar to how we did the first two examples is just that it, the numbers are given to us as a list. Let's take a look at question number four. Again, let me add my numbers. Six plus 13 plus 11 plus 104 plus 35 plus six, 15, 12, 12, three. Right, I'm adding everything. According to my calculator, I have 217. And let me divide this by how many numbers I have. All right, I happen to have 10 of them. So 217 divided by 10, it gives me 21.7. All right, my decimal doesn't keep on repeating. So I'm going to say that's it, 21.7. All right. Not too difficult. Let's take a look. What if I have dot plots? Question number five on our notes. Now, each of these dots would represent on my first row, each of these dots is two. Each of them. On the second row, each dot is three. And then on the next one, each dot is four, five, and six. So when I add my numbers, when I'm adding my numbers, I'm going to have two four times. So I'm going to go two plus two plus two plus two. I have four, four times two. Right? Each dot represents two. Then I'm going to add a three. I only have one three. Then fours, so I have three of them. So four plus four plus four. And then plus five plus six. I'm gonna use a calculator, right? I'm gonna add everything. And this thing happens to be 34. And let me divide this by how many numbers I have. I can easily count how many dots I have. I happen to have 10 of them. So 34 divided by 10 gives me 3.4. That's my answer. Remember, I'm adding everything and divided by how many numbers we have. Let's take a look at question number six. My first row, each dot is one, and I see seven of them. So I can just go one plus one plus one. So three, four, five, six, 
seven times, and then plus two, plus two, and then plus five. I'm going to add everything. In this case, happens to be 16. I'm going to divide it by how many numbers I have. I can easily count my dots. There's 10 of them. 16 divided by 10 is 1.6. My number doesn't keep on repeating, so that's fine. 1.6. Now let's take a look at questions 7 and 8. When it comes to graphs, when it comes to bars, this information at the bottom, it might be a number, it might be a name, we're talking about here the cost of electricity, and it talks about years. I'm not interested in those numbers. I'm interested in the numbers on the left. Now, one thing I want us to see. I see a 2 and a 4. And there's a line right in between 2 and 4. I know the number that is between 2 and 4 is 3, so that line represents 3. Then I'm going to say there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now, each bar, we can see the height of the bar, how high it goes. I'm going to say the first bar, it goes as high as 8. So the first bar represents an 8. The second one represents an 8 as well. And then the, the next one is 9, 9, 9, 9, 8. 9, 9, 11, and 12. These numbers, I got them from the left, right? I see how high the bar gets. I compare it to the numbers on the left. And those, basically, those are basically the numbers I'm going to be using. Kind of like how we did with the first six examples. Let me add all my numbers. So I'm going to go 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus Again, let me say, let me use a dot. Basically, I'm going to say, let me add them all. I'm going to use a calculator in this case. I'm going to go 8 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 8 plus 9 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12. Right? I'm adding everything, and it gives me 101. Let me divide this by how many numbers I added. Right? We can easily count how many bars there are. There's 11 of them. So let me divide this by 11, right? Add everything divided by how many numbers you have. Now I type this on my calculator, 101 divided by 11. It gives me 9.18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. Now I said earlier, the maximum is two decimals, two numbers. I do take a look at the third number though. In this case, a 1. If it is big enough, it pushes the previous number up. Big enough. Big enough is 5 or more. Now, 1 is too small. When the numbers are too small, I'm just going to ignore it. My number is, my answer is 9.18. Right? If the third number was big enough, I would have said 9.19. But it is not big enough, so it stays at 9.18. All right, let's take a look at the last example for today. Again, I'm not interested in the numbers at the bottom. I'm interested in the numbers on the left. The first graph goes as high as 6. The second graph goes as high as 4. And again, I see the height, and I compare with the numbers on the left. I see this is 5, this is 8, 5, 3, 5, 6, and 7. For my mean or average, let me add all my numbers. So let me just write add all. So I'm going to go 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. Right? I added all my numbers and I get 53. All right, I added them all. I'm going to divide this by how many numbers I have. All right, we can count how many bars there are. There's 10 of them. 53 divided by 10. My calculator gives me 5.3. Mm -hmm. 
let me zoom out. Make sure you guys do write your notes. Here, let me zoom out so you guys can take a screenshot. Make sure you guys uh, take take some notes. 